Hey everybody, welcome to the final episode of Genesis Pack Openings. Uh, my name is Mark Petrify Fittipaldi, I'm one of the game designers on Gods Unchained, and in this series I go through the community open packs and take a look at some of the better ones and provide some game design insight or some tips on the, on the cards that you the community have opened. Just as a friendly reminder, we're coming up to the end of the Genesis pre-sale, and we have a trading marketplace opening on the 29th of October, and what that signifies is you'll no longer be able to buy Genesis packs from us, you'll have to go to the marketplace and buy cards individually, or buy chests to get Genesis cards. Uh, so if you want to get your Genesis cards before the pre-sale ends off of us, uh, you must do so very shortly. And if you're interested in watching any of the previous episodes, check out the description below. Cool, so our next pack, and let's hope there's some good stuff in here. Uh, ooh, right off the bat, Glass Cannon Gold. Uh, we recently just buffed this one, so this is a 3 mana 7 2 that says Blitz, Raw, Summon a 3 3 Iron Anim for your opponent. And so, obviously, a 3 mana 7 2 with Blitz is huge, so there has to be some downside. The downside was previously summon a random Anim for your opponent. Um, but what we found was that that kind of defeated the purpose of Glass Cannon because occasionally you would get a frontline card. And the purpose of Glass Cannon is it acts as a removal spell that's in neutral and also is Blitz. So you can use this to remove a really, really big creature for uh, not a lot of mana. But um, it comes with a downside as your opponent does get a 3-3. So it is a bit of a trade-off. Um, but in gold, this looks awesome because the Glass Cannon has that gold... Uh, plating on it, and uh, I will be extremely happy to get this one, it looks like a great collector's item. Eager Griffin, this also recently just got buffed, uh, so we changed this from a 3-2 a, a to a 2-3, so it's a 2 mana, 2-3, whenever your opponent casts a spell, Eager Griffin gains strength plus 2. Uh, the reason we change it from a 3-2 to a 2-3 is we want this to be staying around longer so that its value gets der derived over time. So this is really good in a metagame where there's a lot of magic decks floating around and a lot of decks that are really just pushing uh, cheap spells that aren't removal. So Eager Griffin, Griffin can get quite out of control quite quickly if not dealt with. And we got an epic Dire Demolich, wow. Uh, 7 mana, 6-6. Six, six. Uh, this also got buffed recently. Uh, crazy pack, it's just all the cards that got buffed. Uh, with Leech, Raw, all friendly creatures gain deadly. Um, so we made this 7 mana from 6 mana, and we also turned its effect uh, into a raw, so that if you remove the Demolich, they still had deadly. Um, really, really high uh, control late game card. Also a mid game finisher, it lets you turn your 1 1 tokens into deadlies, which is awesome. Uh, big fan of the art on that one too. Uh, so 4 mana, uh, Actuary of War. Raw, give plus 1 plus 1 to a creature in hand for every 6 creatures in all players voids. So this is a quite a complicated effect and it's also a rare, so they got a shiny legendary, an epic and a rare. What a pack! Uh, and this is great for the intense training type decks where you want to be buffing a creature to become quite big in your hand. And lastly we got Sleep Dart. So Sleep Dart says sleep a creature and give it burn plus 3. This is an amazing removal spell, I think it's a staple of deception. Um, decks right now, as far as the uh, aggro, tempo, or even control based ones. Uh, it's, it's super cheap, 2 mana, and it effectively removes any 3 health creature, because uh, they can't attack in response to the sleep, and uh, it's, it's just super strong for, for what you're paying. And what do we see? Uh, so, Sarcophagus. Ooh, this is a tricky one. So, 2 mana, 0, 6, can't attack, burn 2. Afterlife, summon another random Anubian from your void. So I really like the flavor on this one of the something coming out of the sarcophagus and, and being uh, an Anubian. Uh, and the way to get payoff with this is to have, uh, obviously you want to be running a lot of Anubians in your deck, but you also want to be running a lot of high cost Anubians so that sarcophagus, uh, when it dies, brings out something huge. So it's you're investing mana now to get something much bigger later. And I think as we add more Anubians to the game, sarcophagus is Sarcophagus's value is going to rise. You can see there's a legendary behind this one. Ooh, Satoshi, or Set Oshi. Uh, this is uh, obviously a reference to the famous Satoshi who uh, is heavily involved with blockchain. Uh, and it says, Raw, add an Anim to your hand. Whenever you play an Anim, add a random Anim to your hand. So 6 mana, 3, 4. And it obviously starts a chain effect. Uh, so you get an Anim, you play an Anim, you get another Anim back, and it's just a, a link. Uh, quite a flavorful card. I think this was going to become a, a, a collector's item in the future. 
Uh, Ancient Curse. So three mana, add a mana bind to your opponent's hand, and mana bind um, is a, a quite a disruptive card that basically makes it harder for your opponent to, to play their turns out. Uh, it's a tricky card that might see uh, some play later on in Deception decks, but I think it's still finding a home, and I'm hopeful it will get one. Did we just get two legendaries in one pack? Holy moly. Uh, so, Hippolyta Divided. By the way, I'm very bad with names, so uh, apologies if I pronounce that incorrectly. Uh, gain, uh, pick one, gain either plus one, plus four, and Olympian, or Blitz Protected and Amazon. So this is actually, uh, I think, a staple of most Deception decks. Uh, one of the best legendary creatures in the game, in my opinion. Uh, the flexibility to either have just a huge creature or a Blitz Protected Amazon 6 mana 4 5 is huge. And to get this in Shadow, as well as another Legendary, this is one of the best packs I have ever seen, personally, and um, if you bought this pack, you should be extremely happy. Uh, Contagious Ghoul, so this actually combos nicely with Sarcophagus, but 1 mana 2 2, which is already great stat line. Put the top card of your deck into your Void. Uh, so this could hit an Anubian, which then enables things like Sarcophagus, or it could hit a huge creature, which enables things like Raise Dead. Love this card, complete staple of death. And it looks like we're opening a different type of pack this time. And we've opened Arcana Demon, so a 3 mana 4-2, give a creature a spell boost, plus 1. Uh, pretty good stat line, 4-2 is quite aggressive, and giving another creature a spell boost, plus 1, can combo pretty nicely with spells. And I think if we get a magic aggro archetype in the future, which I want to say is somewhat likely, uh, this card is going to probably do quite well. And what's relevant is also a nether, so nether decks uh, are going to see a lot of play in the future. Dread Pirate, one of my favorite cards. Uh, two mana, two two, give plus one, minus one to a creature. So this has a lot of flexibility. It can be used as a removal card for a uh, uh, one health minion, or it can be used to trade up um, certain creatures or you can just use it as a really aggressive tool to put it on one of your creatures just to get in for that one extra point of damage love the flexibility of this card cool uh so this is one i'm not going to be able to pronounce three mana two one uh hycosian chariot blitz flank protected uh anubian so this one is just ultra high value on its own um comes down immediate impact with Blitz, uh, fl and flank, and protected. So you can trade it into a two-one, and well, sorry, you can run it into a true-one, and it's not even a trade. Uh, and then you can usually just get at least a two-for-one with this card. Combos especially nicely with intense training because it's coming down well above two-one, and I'm a really big fan of this card. Uh, six mana, death dealt, netherine, raw, destroy a creature with three health or less, three health or less, uh, five four nether. So again, it has nether synergy, which is uh, definitely going to be uh, expanded more in the future and will raise the value of all nethers. But it's also just an awesome control card. You get a big body and you get to destroy a creature with three health or less, which is often extremely relevant. And ooh, a golden black rhino. Uh, very fitting color when you look at the art. Uh, it is a 6 mana 5-5 five five with Confused, and it says pick one, gain Strength plus 2 and Twin Strike, or Health plus 3 in Frontline. So again, another really flexible card that can come down as a 6 mana 5-8 with Frontline, or it can come down as a 7-5 with Twin Strike. So you're getting a ton of value whether you play this on the aggressive side or the defensive side. And... Ooh, Legendary. The Harvester, one of the strongest cards in the game, I think. Uh, 6 mana 3-4 with quite a lot of text. It says, whenever a creature dies, deal 2 damage to both gods. When your god takes damage, heal your god for 2. When your god is healed, give the harvester strength plus 1. So this is like a daisy chain effect where basically when you trade off a creature, they take 2 damage, uh, and you do take 2 damage, but you also heal for 2. So it kind of nullifies, but any trigger effect where it's like, if your god takes damage, do X happens, which is really important. Uh, and the Harvester also grows stronger, so really, really, really strong card in things like Death Zoo as a finisher because you can trade off all of your small creatures and get a huge amount of reach. Uh, and for anyone wondering, reach is the ability to hit their god without actually hitting their god, so you can do damage through frontline, which is important. Will-O-Wisp, awesome card, super high value, synergizes really well with 
uh, things like Serene Blade uh, and Papal Bull. It's a 2 mana 1-1 one, one with Ward and it summons another version of itself. So you can get to fill up your board really quickly with this and uh, they have wards so they're protected from board clears. Cool, next we have Fertility Idol, so it's 7 mana 0, 6 Amazon, at the end of your turn summon a copy of another random friendly creature. So this is a card that really spirals out of control if unanswered and works really well in a deck with a lot of front lines because you just keep getting more and more front lines and they can never kill the idol. Uh, really big fan of this card and I think it's going to see some play in some really fun decks in the future. Ooh, Furies. Uh, epic card that says summon two uh, raw summon two furies if there are six or more olympians in your void your furies gain strength plus one and blitz uh seven mana three three so if you're in an olympian deck this comes down and it really does a, a lot of damage to the board there's two four threes and another four three so they all have blitz as well so really really high impact play and lastly we have dimension draw door which says draw a card and reduces mana cost by one if it costs less than your unlocked mana gems so really good cantrip um, effectively thins your deck which is an awesome effect cool and we have our final pack let's see what we get so card number one trapdoor assassin in shadow so two mana four one uh with flank and hidden so this is extremely good in those aggressive decks where you just want to attack your opponent. You don't really care about attacking the creatures. You don't care if Trapdoor Assassin dies. As long as you get that two damage in, Hidden enables that and Flank also enables that. So Shadow Cards and Deception are probably one of my favorite um, cosmetics that we have because they just fit the Deception art style so well. Ooh, and a Shadow Avatar of Magic. Wow. Um, this might be one of the best cards that I think we've opened. Uh, all of the avatars I think are very high value and to get a shadow version of it is insane. This is one of only 118. So this is a 9 mana 9-9 nine nine protected ward spell boost plus 2. Whenever you cast a spell, add a copy of beam to your hand that costs 1 mana. So beam deals 4 damage to a creature and 3 damage to the opponent's god. So you can just start chaining beams and effectively you kill them. So the avatar of magic, if unanswered, will basically just win the game for you. Um, which is what you expect out of your 9 mana cards. And uh, something that I'm not sure the community has noticed yet is all of the avatars scale from uh, their mana costs. So 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7, 8, 8, 9, 9. And the avatar of light is 7, 7 for 7. And the avatar of death is a 6, 6 for 6. So cool flavor. Uh, the master tactician is a 2 mana 2, 2 protected. Raw, all other friendly creatures have flanked this turn. Uh, so a 2 mana 2-2 two, two with Protected on its own is awesome, and then giving your creatures flank just lets you finish the game quite quickly, and it's also a Viking. This is going to be a staple of Viking decks, I'm 100% certain of it. It's, it's great in aggro decks, and I would definitely be including this. <clears throat> Raze Imp, uh, recently redesigned. So Raze Imp is a 1 mana 2-2, two, two, which on its own, great stat line. It's a nether very relevant and it says shuffle two random nethers in your deck which is something you want from your nethers because nethers are all about filling your deck up with stuff so raise imp is going to be a staple of nether decks um, and personally i love the art on it it's super great and lastly we got shadow smoke bomb wow three shadows in a row this was maybe the best for last uh i promise this wasn't scripted either that was awesome uh Another Deception Shadow card as well, so 4 mana, 4-5 four, with burn 1. After Smoke Bomb attacks, give it and a random friendly creature hidden for one turn. So really high flavor card, it's also an Atlantean which is somewhat relevant um, and it lets you attack, stay hidden, attack, stay hidden, basically what you would effect out of it. Uh, expect out of a Smoke Bomb. Love it in Shadow, love all the Deception cards in Shadow and what an awesome pack. Thanks so much for watching everybody, that's been the Genesis card opening series, uh, let us know if you liked it and please if you have any feedback let us know in our Discord channel which you can find a link to below and remember that the Genesis sale is running out, if you want to buy packs you have uh, not much time left as the marketplace opens on the 29th of October so get in today, you'll find a link below and uh, thank you so much for watching.